From here, Vasco da Gama departed to India in 1497. After that, the trade of spices will never be the same. Bom dia. Lisbon is mainland Europe's westernmost capital city and the only one along the Atlantic coast. Where the river meets the ocean. We're gonna see how the ocean made Portugal an empire. The monument to the discoveries. Straight ahead. Mais um dia maravilhoso. We're about to catch a tram to Belém. It's tram number 15. Right over there. It's the electrico, as they call here. And the electrico can sometimes be a bus. But let me tell you something you should know before getting inside one of these. You should get a prepaid card and add some credits there. This way you're gonna spend basically half as compared to buying a single ticket inside. Viva Viagem. But the thing is, you cannot buy this card at the stops, at the electrico stops or the bus stops. You gotta go to a metro station, so come prepared. final stop just to make sure we get a seat. This is the stop everyone gets it here at Praça do Comércio, Commerce Square. We got it one stop earlier, but it's still very early in the day. It's before 9 in the morning. I believe everyone will get a seat now. <laughs> if you buy the ticket here inside, you basically pay twice the price. You pay twice what we're paying. Mm -hmm. Look at how beautiful the monastery. <laughs> the monastery. <laughs> As all top attractions here in Belém only open at 10 in the morning, we arrived earlier to enjoy the famous Portuguese custard tart, Pastel de Belém, which is as famous as the national monument here. <laughs> that will be our breakfast. Oh, here we are. Pastel de Belém. Since 1837. Fila 1, Fila 2? Ninguém na fila? Tem people. No, but I'm fine. This is the original recipe, the one that started the whole tradition of custard tarts here in Portugal. Oh, Could you hear the noise when I had a bite? I've never tried a custard tart as crunchy as this. It is really good. It's really good. Mm. Creating a mess here. <laughs> That's why I got a table. Now the tub is full and I'm happy. Let me explain a little bit about why this place is so famous. Well, in the early 19th century, there was a revolution here in Portugal, and one of the consequences of this revolution was that monasteries were shut down, monks expelled. But they still needed to survive, right? So what could they do? They knew how to prepare good custard tarts, so they started selling them. It turns out that it was a success. So in 1837, they sold the recipe to the owners of this shop here. And still, the same family owns the shop, generation after generation, and today only a handful of people know the recipe. That's why it's so secret and they are the only ones that can call it Pastéis de Belém, the name of the shop, because this is a trademark today. All the other Portuguese custard tarts are only called Pastéis de Nata. Nata is a word in Portuguese that means no skin. Now you know it, Pastel de Belém, only here. You want to catch this place with no line? Just arrive early. And it's not even this early anymore. It's 10 in the morning. So is it worth the hype? Um, everyone should try. Try one. Just one? One. <laughs> if you like, try two. <laughs> if you like, try two. It is really good. It's worth it. Wow, this monastery is amazing. You got beautiful images for me? Yeah. Yes? Just yes? Tea. Belém is a place full of history, and as we're right next to the Monastery of Jerónimos, this is where we start. Uh-oh. Luckily, it actually goes fast, and there's a reason. 
we get in line thinking you're going to buy the ticket and when you realize we inside a fantastic church. Did you read who's in the first tomb? The poet. Camões. He's the top of all times. These are Shakespeare, the one that I oh. told you about. Oh. This is the tomb of Luiz Vaz de Camões. He's considered the father of Portuguese language. Wow. He wrote a famous book called Os Lusíadas. We all learn about it in school in Portuguese-speaking countries. This book is exactly about the Portuguese navigators, especially Vasco da Gama. Um, at the exit, Vasco da Gama's tomb. Vasco established the commercial route between Portugal and India. This was in 1497, 1498, and that resulted in a new trade route. This was Santa Maria de Belém's church, which is outside the monastery, and entrance here is free. You get two options to come here to visit the monastery. You can buy the ticket for 10 euros, or you can buy this card here. This is the Lisboa card. It costs 20 euros for 24 hours, and that also gives you access to other attractions here in Belém, other attractions in Lisbon, and also public transport. So if you want to visit other places in addition to the monastery, it's better. It's worthwhile. That's what we're doing, so we're saving some money. construction of this monastery here started in 1501, but before that there was already a church here and actually the explorers used to come here to pray, you know, before departing on their missions. And then with a the successful mission, the arrival in India, Lisbon got rich and they used the money they earned, including what they earned in taxes, to build this place here. the tomb of Fernando Pessoa. He was one of the most important Portuguese poets of the 20th century. The style here is so, so beautiful. It's a mix of Gothic with early Renaissance. Yes. Uh, here. In 1833, the state secularized the monastery. Meaning, it ended up with the monastery. It's not a monastery anymore. Uh, Let's see how much taller you are compared to people in the 16th century. Go there, baby, go there. <laughs> Stand right there. <laughs> no, you could fit. You could almost fit. That's very impressive, isn't it? Yes. Especially with this blue sky, perfect day. Next, the monument to the discoveries. Straight ahead. <laughs> Just a beautiful walk in between. In the previous videos, I talked about the early history of Lisbon, the Renaissance after the disaster, and also a little bit of recent history, but I skipped the Golden Age, the 16th century, the age of the discoveries. That's when Portugal became an empire, and Lisbon was the European hub of commerce between Africa, India, the Far East, and South America. Where do we go from here? Lisbon got rich with the trade of spices, sugar, goods in general, and even slaves. You want to sweet up your day? No, I could do Italiano pizzeria. Not less time yet. Not many options to eat here. Oh. There's a world map here, but the best view is from up there. This monument here is much more recent. It was built in 1960, celebrate 500 years of the death of Harry the Navigator. That one right at the front. Thanks to him, the Portuguese sailed out to explore the world. He was the main sponsor. And this monument here resembles the caravel ship, which was the type of ship used at the time. With all the famous explorers on board. Are you a tourist? Yeah. Six heroes. Ah, oh, here we are. Oh, it is so thin. You 
see the whole valley from up here. This is the Teju River. The city center of Lisbon is that way. And here is where the river meets the ocean. That's why the Belém Tower is so important. It's a fortress to protect the city. Over yeah. here, you fall off the end of the earth. That's exactly what I used to think, you know? No, you do. Trust me. Mm -hmm. Yep. Where are you going? I don't know. This is a 15th century thought. Wow, look at this view of the monastery. And that's Estadio do Restelo. Mm -hmm. And that's the map with the roots used by the Portuguese. When you look at that bridge, what do you think? São Francisco. Yeah, 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 Golden no, no, no. Gate. <laughs> but you know, a lot of people say that it was the same company that built it, but it was not. No? No, it was the same company actually that built the Oakland Bridge, not the Golden Gate. Oh. But it looks very similar, right? Even the color, right? So much. Yeah. Plus Christ the Redeemer back there. That actually they copied from Rio. Rio's Christ the Redeemer came first. No, everyone copied Lisbon. Lisbon is number one. <laughs> Except mm, no, no. for the Christ. <laughs> Inspiration goes both ways here. That's a sign of Brazil inspiring the homeland. Cristo Rei. Would you rent one of these to go to the tower? There is the tower. No. Yeah? But this would be fun. No. It's fun walking with you, baby. Oh, you're so lovely. Yeah, it looks like this is what everybody does. Nice walk here from one monument to the next. One thing I forgot to mention about that bridge, that bridge was named after Salazar, and he was the dictator here. As soon as the dictatorship was over, they renamed the bridge 25th of April, because that was the day that the revolution occurred. Yeah. After a 12-minute walk, here we are, the Belém Tower. Of course, there's a line here too. There are two lines here, one for people to buy a regular ticket and the other one for those who have the Lisboa card. The idea with the card is actually to skip the line. Not the case today, so let's see at least if it goes faster. When they first built the tower, this was actually an island. Oh yeah? Yeah, but then there was a change in the course of the river, so this is why it is like this today. It worked. They first opened the line for those who have the card. Yeah, it's a natural pool here. Here explains the history well. The tower was built as a fortress and then it lost importance. It became a prison, a post, telegraph station, and a lighthouse. Found some shade here. It's cool over here, huh? Yeah. Come on, baby. Let's go upstairs. This fortress kind of reminds me of a medieval castle, too. Various levels here at the tower, and from the different floors, you can have different views of the city, the Teju River over there, the bridge as well, and even where the river meets the ocean, right here. And from up here, you see it all. 360 view. From here, Vasco da Gama departed to India in 1497 and discovered the new routes around in Africa. After that, the trade of spices will never be the same. Smile!
totally pays off to buy the card. You skip all this line. The airline's inside to buy the tickets, lines over here, and we skipped the line. We jumped ahead in front of everyone. Cost ended up being the same. The attractions that we visited plus transport, because you can also use the card for public transport. And we still have tomorrow morning to use somewhere else if we want. <laughs> Obrigada, hein? <laughs> Another one for my collection. Look at this, five euros. This is beautiful and it's different. Look at this. What do you think? The gentleman over there said that I look good, like this. Yeah, you do. Yeah! Is that it? Yeah, that's it. No, baby, a little bit more excited. I, I got nothing left. <laughs> no energy left? Hope you're enjoying this series here in Lisbon. If this is the first video that you see, come on, I already shot others. There's a link to the whole playlist up here. Activate the notifications so that you know when there's a new one. Next video will be in Sintra. Just one more thing, you pay for the view in both monuments. The view is fantastic, but that's about it. You know, there's not much information. There's no exhibition. It's good to arrive already knowing a little bit of the history. Where do we go? But let me tell you something you should know. Uh-oh just lost. Inspiration goes both ways, baby. No, be careful here. <laughs> it's a very funny thing. No. It's so funny, I don't even laugh. <laughs> it's a Yeah. It's Colin. Is it? Yeah. Did you hear that, Gordon? Gordon, no. <laughs>